Okay, everyone, I wanted to make a quick video here um, in an area that I haven't been able to make videos in for a few months because of a significant injury that I have recently developed. Uh, about two months ago, I ruptured my Achilles tendon, so I have kind of been focusing on that. Uh, rehabilitation is going pretty well, so I was just in the mood to... Uh, take a look at three knives in my very limited collection. So um, these are all considered EDC knives and uh, not that I would necessarily carry all of them for an EDC, especially this one. I mean this thing is huge. Um, the Kershaw, hmm, I don't know, depending on what I was wearing, uh, it still it's, it's, has a kind of a, bitty, a pretty big footprint. This Gerber paraframe, for sure, I would carry that no matter what I was wearing. Um, so I want to go through these real quickly. I have the Columbia River uh, CRKT M1614LE. Let's see here. Just so you can... Sorry, I'm still getting adjusted to using this uh, jeweler's loop. So... Uh, that's what it is, the M16-14LE uh, Columbia River, or CRKT. So, um, that's the first one. Let me get these out of the frame here so that we can exclusively talk about this one. Uh, this thing is huge. Um, it's probably about, I, I don't have a uh, measuring tape. You can easily find the dimensions. Um, but uh, I'd say it's probably about eight inches. I mean, this thing is, you know, this is a small Coleman stool here, like a fold-up stool, and it's almost like the width of the seat. So in terms of a bob bag, probably a good situation to have this particular knife. Um, you know, it's a cheap knife. You could probably find this for under $30. Some of the things I do like about it, I like that it does have a little bit of weight. I mean, it feels pretty good in the hand. Um, I really like these machined out holes. Very, very nice. The color is very cool. Um, you know, belt clip is, uh, or pocket clip, however, you know, the term is. You, uh, you have a pretty strong one in this knife. Uh, some of the things I don't like, I don't like the partial serration there. Um, you know, not a real favorite of mine. They are pretty sharp, uh, so that part is, is, is good, but, um, you know, I am just really not a fan of partial serration. I always believe if you're going to have full serration, great. If you're going to have partial, you know, what's the point? I got this knife in a trade, so I thought I would kind of give it a whirl, and uh, that aspect of it I'm not too crazy about. Um, the blade appears to be very easy to sharpen. Uh, I like the fact that there's a front part here. Again, I don't, excuse me if I don't mention the correct terminology on this, but the front part of the blade that's kind of like at a 45 degree angle is very, very sharp. And then you have kind of the straight edge. It's really nice too. So, uh, you know, it says here that it's a uh, SRT high risk environment. Yeah, right. I mean, give me a break. If you're in a high-risk environment, this is the last knife I'd want on me. Um, of course, you know, any knife is better than no knife at all. Like I said, though, for just general EDC, if you're into a bigger knife, this tends to be a pretty decent option. So, but I wouldn't pay any more than $30 for this thing, so keep that in mind. Next one I'd like to go to is the Kershaw Skyline. Uh, it's kind of one of these flip knives here. It's very, very cool, very light. Uh, the handle is kind of a plastic composite type of material. has a little bit of texture on it, which I really like. Uh, I like that. It feels good in the hand. And, uh, you know, that is a good thing. Uh, the other thing that's really interesting and... Um, you know, I don't know about you, but not all of my knives actually say this. Check it. Made in the USA. So that's pretty cool. The other thing I thought that was really neat on this knife was 
it also has a stamp of when it was produced. So this this knife was manufactured January 09. Very cool. Uh, comes out of the box really really sharp. Uh, that's definitely a good thing. If it didn't, I would have sharpened it. But um, I really like this knife. I got it as a. Uh, I really only bought it because my cousin, who's also on here, you'll see an annotation. He um, he recommended it. He did a review on it, and uh, he sold me on it. So I like the kind of imprinted area here for the finger. It feels really good in the hand. So Kershaw Skyline, um, good idea. Really good idea. Uh, the next knife, this Gerber Paraframe 1 serrated. Sorry about the background noise. My wife turned on a blender and the baby is going crazy, so he's fine. Um, so it's the Gerber uh, Paraframe, and this thing is like, again, getting back to the whole serration, serrated versus non serrated, it's like half serrated. Uh, really weird, but as a small pocket knife, that's pretty cool in this in this application only really um, this knife looks ve I really like the way that it looks it has kind of this you know again they call it a pair frame it's really light really a strong clip here uh, for everyday carry I would say this is a decent knife don't pay more than ten dollars for this that's all I will tell you that'd be really be my my main uh, piece of advice on this. It's not worth more than that. So um, hopefully these three quick reviews help. Um, if you have any questions about any of these, feel free to let me know. And uh, again, I'll answer based on my limited knowledge. All right. Take it easy. Be safe. And hopefully I can get some more videos out regarding EDC and the whole Bob Bag situation. All right, thanks, over and out, right? Okay, bye.